Welcome back guys, so in today's video we're going to talk about the latest release from Kali Linux which is Project Purple as it were. This is the brand new version of Kali Linux which is designed specifically for defensive security practitioners in mind which is a first for them because when you think Kali, you think Mr. Robot, you think offensive and when I was using it back in the day with Backtrack 5 etc that's all I ever thought of it as. So it's good that they've dived into the different arena of blue teaming or purple teaming as it were here. So let's dive into what's the key features on offer with this distro. So first of all, Kali Purple is a proof of concept distro for security testing that serves as a reference architecture for the ultimate sock in a box environment. With that being said, it includes more than 100 defensive tools, including CyberSeph, Elastic Security Information and Event Management, and open source network intrusion detection systems like Zeek. Kali's Autopilot, a script building for automation attacks, is also pre-included with Kali Purple. Purple also boasts a structured around the National Institute of Standard Technology, which has five core functions outlined in the cybersecurity framework, which is of course identity, protection, detection, response, and recovery. From what we can see, Purple allows teams to engage in internal war games, learn how to protect small to medium sized IT system and environments, and practice threat hunting among other activities. Kali Purple is a perfect learning environment for practicing SOC analysis and threat hunting, security control design and testing, blue, red and purple team testing, and blue versus red competition based scenarios. So if we head over to Kali's website and see what's on offer here, we are on 23.1, so it's the first of many versions that we can see coming out for this distro. So in terms of change log, it is on release four. And as we can see here, Kali is a dawn of a new era, not only for offensive, but for defensive. It has significant Python changes. So it comes out of the box with 3.11 installed with some pip changes as they move forward. There's also some thematic changes and that's always something new that's happening with Kali if you're already in the environment and know the scene. There's some desktop changes interesting enough with XFC on version 4.18 with KDE Plasma 5.17 also being introduced. We have the default kernel settings which makes Kali look different but also what I've seen it makes it run faster and it's boasting a whole set of new tools which I'm also interested in looking into. So in terms of reference we have over 100 tools it says so it has Akami for full packet capture and analysis, Cyberchef for Swiss Army Knife tool sets in cyber. Elastic Security, which is kind of readied out right now, which might mean it's not available. For security and information, event management, it has Hive, Malcolm, Seek. It's apparently boasting a lot of, especially defensive and forensic tools. Uh, so here we have some screenshots of what Elastic looks like in the environment. It has Kami, Malcolm, and on the installer front you can here tick box which flavor as it were that you want i ticked everything just to see what it looked like so you can either tick if you want protect defensive tools responsive tools recovery tools and whichever environment you want i always tick no anyway but i'll just test it for the default one for now so let's see what this looks like and see what they're saying is actually true. So if we go to Python version, and indeed they are on 3.11.2, which is the latest version. We go here and now we can see what is different if you're familiar with Kali application launchers. Now we have this one to five and we got identify. And this gives us a set of different tools with some Cisco auditing, which is quite new, Nipper the OSR framework, which we kind of saw in that documentation, Zap, Tiger, nice. 
we got protect with firewall builders we've got a crypt setup and a clam av nice we have dtech now with more different tools i've not seen find logs build db add logs we have respond with some different tools again unhide we have iron packet mac robber foremost of course this is just an introductory video to what purple can offer i will make a different video if everyone wants it available for me to deep dive into each tool set and see exactly what it's doing for recover we have rescue my rescue we have x ton deletes x for magic okay interesting do they still have the set toolkit no they don't they this is the first cali box i've ever seen that doesn't offer set what an age wow so no set toolkit available to us here um we can see just the general one to, to 14 in terms of tools generic tools that are used in kelly so they've kind of tried to mix the flavors up here we have password attacks with john offline online attacks as well and this is expansive uh, Cisco auditing tools and offline attacks. We have Sam Dump, True Crack, nice, and F Crack. Reverse engineering tools. And we have some sniffer tools, of course. We've got some man in the middle sniffer tools and networking tools, and these are expanded as well. TCP, this is a great tool, TCP replay. I've used this in many environments. Uh, replay network traffic stored in PCAP files, especially if you're doing man and middle attacks under that. Forensic tools, forensic imaging tools, forensic carving tools. I've got to get into my forensics actually. This is something I do want to dive into. And I will look at like, each of these tools individually, see what they can do. Social engineering tools, just, just one. <laughs> so set is officially been removed from here. All right, cool. So what else are they boasting here? We looked at the Python one and again, you've got virtual environments under the Python. We have the break system packages. Uh, okay, enough telling off. If you want to ignore everything and do not care about repercussions, you can use the tac tac break system package command at the end of the command. And they give you an example of the command here. We have a thematic refresh, so let's see what that looks like. We've got this purple background, as you can see. If we go to desktop. Okay, we do have some different themes here. Okay. That one looks pretty cool, I like that. The dragon for Kali at this point is so iconic. Super slick. Um... Oh, nice. We've got some ASCII type one as well. See if I can spot any. Oh, we've got the set toolkit here, though. <laughs> we've got an interpreter one, of course. Metasploit. Uh, we have Venom as well. And Zplot. Nice. Okay, so what else is on offer here? Again, under the new environment, we have there's nearly two years of development that's gone into the new version of XFCE on 4.18. And it's improved UI scaling. We've got Funner, or Tunner, is a file management system that pays attention to file highlighting, recursive search, and split view. Nice. Panel profiles, again, let's see what that looks like. And we go to properties. Nice. Go to panel. Go to panel preferences. Okay. And we can see here we've got current panel, compact panel, and known panel. All right. So that's available to us as well. New tiling system. Uh, you can. This one's kind of emulating what Windows kind of 11's doing with its tiling. You can, 
while dragging hold down shift key create custom layout hold down the meta or windows key and press t let's see if that works for me windows key and t all right that's not working there's no meta for me all right so i can't do that on this keyboard for some reason but i believe you all right and there's some known issues with some NVIDIA drivers. And here they're boasting these new tools. So let's see if they're actually available here for us. So, okay, that's not there. Cyber Chef. That's not there either. Defect Dojo. All right, Defect Dojo is there, nice. Disco. Nope. <laughs> the Kubernetes helm. Shout out to Kubernetes. I'm doing my Azure studying now for my new certification, so definitely heavy on Kubernetes. Um, pack, my God, what is the point of even mentioning these? Red Eye. not there and lastly unicrypto Kali what was the point in that all of these tools apart from dscan ain't even here um, oh, don't tell me I have to go to each repo and get it myself oh that's just poor that is poor Kali coming now now you can go into each repo, as you can see here, here's the Archimi one, there's the installation for it, and there you can see here, git clone, make the configuration, there's a download page as well, but why, why mention it in the documentation if I have to separately go out and install it, not happy with that Kelly at all, conclusion. That was Kali Purple, and as we saw, it comes with new features and tools and those five subsets of different sectors and different tool sets within those five sectors. We also saw it came with new wallpapers, which you always, always enjoy. There were significant updates to XFCE with the KDE GNOME desktop environments, and we saw big changes to for it using Python 3.11 with some pip changes on the way as well. That was today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stay safe in the cyberspace. Peace out.